Hey everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and I just wanted to quickly talk with each one of you about the Lion's Gate and that is the uh, galactic, uh, it's, it's reaching a peak on the 8th of the 8th 2013 which is coming up in six days but it's actually been happening since July 26 and it will continue to happen until August the 12th so about two weeks and it is a connection to the galactic sun and it brings forth light to the earth so I've got a little bit of information here for you guys okay so what it does is it opens a new vortex of energy on earth and bringing forth new light codes and information for each one of us to download so we just need to be open to this it's helpful if we also ground ourselves and uh, you know open ourselves up to those the healing energies of the sun and what's going to be going on is that we are going to download this information from um, the light the light codes and information it's from the Syrians so Sirius um, the star Sirius um, but it's the lion people so anyway here we go new codes and information for us set your intentions high uh, we will transform fear into light and love in this way you're encouraged to release lower levels of emotion and replace with true soul essences of love, abundance, courage and peace. So the old programs of things of fear and negativity and greed and all those things need to be replaced with love, abundance, courage and peace because that is our true soul essences and this is going to be very, very prevalent on the earth for these two weeks. Follow your own rhythm and guidance when we are tired, nauseous, anxious, etc. Et we are learning to know that it is our body integrating with new energies, allowing yourself to rest and reboot, so regenerate this thing. The lion's gate, if we allow, will bring us into the new more rapidly than any other time this year. Meditate to open to new energies and information, initiation into the higher energies. We are honoring and we are remembering who we truly are. So a simple exercise is to just go and stand where you won't be disturbed outside. You can do it in your bedroom, um, at the window if you like, with the sun coming in. You just um, stand there and you plant your feet firmly on the ground and you say, I now ground my energies and you imagine roots are just going straight down to the center of the earth and uh, your higher self is open and the vortex of energy is a big light, a cone of light going right up into the heavens, right up into this beautiful vortex of the lion's gate and that is coming down, healing you, cleansing you and bringing new codes of energy right through into your DNA and you know, right into your body completely. And it's a most beautiful feeling. It's a feeling of strength and honor that you will have within yourself. I'm very, very closely associated to the Syrians um, and the Lion people. In fact, I've got a lot of them as my guides. And lately, I've been drawing them and uh, these little Lion people. And so now, and I never draw, <laughs> but it's just I'm just doing it anyway because I can just sense that they're everywhere, they're trying to get my attention, and it'll be happening to you as well. So you open yourself to this and you don't have to be a Leo to be connected to the lions. I think it's just about everybody that loves that lion energy. And think about the, how they are, you know, they are honourable, um, you know, they are strong and mighty. And that's how we need to feel within ourselves. They're also very, very beautiful to look at and, um, you know, in the most utmost masculine way and the most beautiful feminine way as well. The two need to be together as a balance. So there you go, I wanted to explain a little bit about the Lion's Gate. So it is a opening of, the, of a vortex of energy, a portal of light, um, it, you know, coming from the Syrians uh, for us. And uh, it is connected to the galactic sun. So we're soaking in those beautiful galactic sun rays of energy to bring forth extra light on the earth. And as we knew, that it was always, this is always going to happen on the eighth, on the eighth of the eighth, is where it reaches its peak. It reaches its peak. So from the 26th of July to August the 12th, in those two weeks, you can start this meditation process and start really uh, paying attention to how you're feeling. So once again, it says there, um, follow your own rhythm and guidance. Uh, when we are tired and feeling nauseous and all that, we have to remember: nope, I'm being rewired. I'm being reset. I'm being rebooted. Not getting carried away with being sick or something. Um, if anyone was listening, I, I just lost my voice a couple of days ago, so I was completely rewired. 
and uh, I just allow myself to do that, allow myself to sleep and I pretty much slept all day yesterday. Uh, so anyway, um, the Lion Gate, if we allow, will bring us into the new, where we want to be. So there you go everybody, I hope that that was helpful and until the next video please leave your comments and questions below and I promise I will do my best to uh, get to each one of those questions and uh, this is your channel so uh, just tell me what you want to see, what you want to see more of. Um, I will just tell you quickly there are more meditations coming, uh, more card readings and some freebies, also some free, you know, some discounts at my website and uh, at my crystal store so if you're looking for something in particular August is going to be the month to get that because it will be very very um, cheap from already discounted prices so that is for the birthday months of August for myself my husband my son is turning 21 um, I won't tell you how old I'm <laughs> gonna be but it's our anniversary as well and my husband's birthday on the same day of the anniversary and it's my birthday on the 21st of August almost a Virgo but I'm sticking to the fact that I'm a Leo for now <laughs> so anyway I will uh, see you very very soon with more videos and uh, yep once again looking forward to hearing from you so blessings to every single one of you and uh, it's goodbye for now bye